Have you heard about this lady who graduated with 5.0 CGPA? She also scored 7 A's and 2 B's in her YEC and a whooping 316 in her jump exam. Now you might be wondering, how did she manage to achieve all these things in a time like this? And how on earth was she able to make it through the university without getting a single B in any of her courses? Here are a few priceless things I found out about her after doing a little research which you can as well learn from and apply in your school activities. In an interview with the Punch newspaper, she was asked how it was possible that she never had a B grade all through her schooling period. She said, when people say this course is hard, this lecturer is difficult or having an A is impossible, I would just avoid these sentences as much as possible and get my mind off these things. And she also said that she strongly believed that if you can see it in your mind, you can do it. And she doesn't joke with those words because she has the power of the Holy Spirit and by that she can do all things. This reminds me of Proverbs 23 verse, verse 6 or 7 or 8 which says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he or so it will be in his life. So which means if you think about our A's and B's and walk towards it, A's and B's will be in your life. As simple as that. Not be me talker, not a Bible talker. And another wonderful thing I just discovered about her is the power of tutoring. Now, she disclosed this to the Porsche newspaper and she said that one key activity that helped her and also pushed her as well is teaching other students, I mean her junior colleagues and as well her classmates. And she also said that teaching other students makes you to learn what you've studied or what you've learned before twice. So dear Nigerian students, I know you may be facing challenges in your academic journey but please, let Precious Okon's story inspire you. With hard work, dedication, a positive mindset, a strong belief in yourself and a strong belief in God, with these five things, you too can achieve greatness. So don't give up yet. I know motivational speakers have said this. Don't give up yet. Oh, don't give up now. Don't give up. Just keep pushing, keep studying and who knows, you may just be the next Nigerian student to make history. And on that day, Probably by God's grace, I'll be there to congratulate you. Just keep trying your best and I'll see you tomorrow.